Salvete Amnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek. In the last episode, we entered World 8, where we found a rather unique and memorable stage, followed by two that were anything but. Let's see if 8.3 is any better, shall we? And the answer is, no, it's not, I'm afraid. Oh yeah, and we can completely ignore that Hammer Brother because we are underwater now. Why there's an underwater level here of all places, I don't know. And it uses the underground level music. Which should tell you that something is up. And the eels are back. Ow, well, that's the first time one of them has gotten me. Also eels that just swim back and forth like that. Or at least in one direction. First and only time we've seen those. Well, at least as far as regular sized eels go. I'm not going to make it. I'm not really sure how I was supposed to make it up there in time. But, the main threat in this level is yet to come. Right about here. And yeah, if you thought the eels in 4-3 were big, this one is freaking enormous. You could make enough sushi out of that thing to feed an entire magical girl army. Also, I'll, I bet I will forget where the Stark ones are. Yeah, it's a chase sequence. Those are always everybody's favorite. Oh, there's one. Just hope it was the second, not the third. I do not have time to check the bottom screen. Okay, good. The giant eel is not instant death. So, there's that small mercy. I don't have time to get that power up either. Do I have time to get these coins? Probably not, but we shall see. Uh, nope. Eel, too close. Actually, this level isn't really that difficult, to be honest. Oh, wait. Third star coin. And how did I not take a hit there? Yeah, all three of the star coins are during the giant eel part, unfortunately. I was supposed to take that top path, wasn't I? I wonder if I can still jump off this Koopa. Probably not. Maybe I can wall jump it. Careful timing. Yes! That was may not have been the intended way of doing that, but it worked. I'm guessing there was another pipe up there that would have taken you to that top platform. Yeah, okay. I remember that level being worse than it was than it turned out to be too. Oh yeah, and then the Hammer Brother moves to the next level I'm about to do. 8-4. And how difficult this one is depends entirely on whether or not you are going for all the star coins. Main thing and problem with this one is spiders. They continuously spawn in this one, and we get to see them do things besides just hang and go back and forth, up and down, I mean. They will actually be on the floor this time. Or the ground, I mean. And yes, they will keep spawning throughout this level. Another bad one to do if you're arachnophobic, holy crap. And I need one to get up here. Gonna spawn any spiders? Well, there's one. More? Actually, maybe I don't need... Okay, there we go. There's the midway point. Whoa. Oh yeah, and obviously, same thing as 8-1. There's our last star coin. Yes, I said last. Or, actually, wait a minute. It is a... Okay, never mind. I guess that is the second one. I thought it was... I'm thinking of a different place. There we go. There's the third one. Don't see it? 
Well, see that mini pipe down there? Yes. You have to go down there to get that star, the third star coin. With a mini mushroom. With spiders constantly spawning. Yes. And I will get to that in a bit. Oh, hey, another bonus. Unfortunately, no new mushroom house since we already got one from the tower. Also, I guess that level has a different background from 8-1, and I quite like it. I could have sworn that was the second star coin, not the third that was down there, but in any case, we will worry about that after we take on 8 Castle. Is it it? Are we really defeating Bowser finally this time? Interesting. This one has some interesting gimmicks to it. One of them being these blocks. Hit them and they will make certain platforms appear and others disappear. Allowing you to do stuff like get that star coin. Also, if I remember correctly, the third star coin requires you to have a very specific sequence of platforms activated. I'm supposed to have this on, aren't I? Oh yeah, and the background is a different color from what it normally is. It's more purple instead of blue. And I quite like it, actually. Okay, is my other platform gonna respawn? Maybe not. That's not good. Just hope I remember where I'm supposed to go in this one. Because I will not get a chance to correct it. There's a midway point, and... You remember these platforms from the World 2 Tower. But this time, they move on their own. Ow. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to have a platform activate. Okay, I didn't mean to kill myself there, but it worked. I would have had to anyway. Wait, am I after the point where I can get any more switches? I am, aren't I? Jerk move! Jerk move game! Ah, well, I guess I'll just be doing this stage over again. Yeah, that sucks. It's right there, right there, but nope. But there's the boss door anyway, let's see what we can do about Bowser. Same anti-chamber hall, whatever, as before. Oh, except it's Dry Bowser. This time we're fighting a skeletal giant dragon turtle thing, and he throws bones at you! Why didn't you die for good when I knocked you into the lava, you jerk? Oh yeah, and there's no platform to jump over him with this time, so you have to go under. That was not exactly the best way of pulling that off, but it worked, I guess. Bye-bye, Dry Bowser. Now give us back our princess. But what's this? Bowser Jr. is still running off with her. Yes, that was, in fact, not the end of World 8. Earthquake and... And he just goes right on into another tower. Yes, in fact, we are only halfway through the world. There's another tower, another castle, and four more regular levels over there. As you can see, 8-5. But we do have some unfinished business in this stage, as well as this one. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here's the offending section. You want the bottom platform here to be active, not the top one, and I thought that Potoboo was farther to the right than that. With that, we can make it to the midway point, and quickly 
jump across these. Speed run time. And there's our platform that we were missing last time. Whoa. And some rather dangerously placed rectangular platforms. It looks like there are only two there, but there are three, as you can see when the third one comes up out of the lava. And yeah, I don't need to show the boss battle again. I'll see you back on the over... well, actually, not the overworld map, but 8-4. Okay, you know something I actually never thought of doing before now? Taking the star while many, which actually makes things a lot safer. Because if a spider lands on you, you just don't even have to worry about him. Here's our bonus room, and apparently even the game wants us to be mini and invincible at the same time. Because... There's a star in the bonus room, and I did not realize that was there. Also, I'm skipping that Goomba because we have to hit this one. Because you need to be invincible to get back up here. Can I get back down there at the same time? No, I cannot. That'd be pretty tricky to hit all of those guys. You have to be fairly precise in your timing. Of course, now we have to get back out of this mess. Why, all mini? Fortunately, the flagpole is right there. So I don't even have to cut. Yeah, that's interesting. It's certainly nice. I suppose it's nice to drop the mini mushroom in a little safer place. Once again, we're gonna call it. We did we made some decent progress. Next time, we will be in the second half of World 8. It's also worth noticing, noting that the overworld map music actually changed. Now it has a bit more of a fiery lava feel to it. Because the second half of World 8 is definitely more volcanic in nature. The first half was just kind of a dark world. But we will worry about that next time. So, I will see you then.